you very much, everybody. Thank you very much for that lovely welcome. I can't begin to tell you how wonderful it is to be here. And thank you too at home for joining us once again around Australia. Sorry to have to make you do this again, but would you please put your hands together now for Kerry Friend. <laughs> Believe. What a touch of deja vu all this is. I this bet is it is for you. It's been a long time. It's great to have you here. It's very yeah, good so. to have you here. Well, Kerry, it's very good to be had here. I tell you that too. Well, we've that got too. Uh, <laughs> We've got a wonderful show tonight. Special celebrity guest show to kick things off. Cracker Jack, tell us about our celebrity yes, singer. Yes, our very, very special guest. Our first single is in the popular comedy series from Channel 10, the comedy company Kylie Mole. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I just... <laughs> so excellent, Greg. This is so excellent. So good. I'm so good. I can't believe a school I'm... girl. I'm not, I'm not sure you're supposed to be 18 to get on this show. I couldn't believe it when I saw your application form. How'd you get away with it? Oh, it's so good. I go to mum, I go, oh, you only have to be 15 to go on it. And then I write into Channel 10, I go, yeah, I'm really 18. I just bull to everyone. It's so good. <laughs> We have an application form and uh, one of the questions is, what are you looking for in a bloke? And she writes, pocket money. I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> now, what about Dino? You got the, the, the boyfriend and that. How does he feel about you being on here? Oh, I hate Dino's guts because I reckon he sucks because we have split up. Why? Because <laughs> he's just such a pig, you know, he goes to me, go the whole way with me and I won't. Because <laughs> I just live in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> so Dino's been given the flick and you're here to meet a real man, right? I'm looking for a new guy, I just can't wait, it's okay. so good. We got three of them on the other side of the screen. Kerry, tell us a bit about them. All right, Kylie, first we have a tennis coach whose ambition is to paint the Harbour Bridge another colour. Please welcome contestant number three. <laughs> Next is a sales rep who would like to perform in the entertainment centre. Say hi to contestant number two. <laughs> and last is a ground engineer who is also involved in surf rescue. Welcome contestant number one. Thank you for this, Kerry. I oh, just... how to make Dino jealous. Yes, I can't believe what comes out of your mouth. That's uh, Good, sir? No, thanks. <laughs> Have a seat, please, Kylie. Well, you know a little bit about, or a little bit about the guys behind the screen. Have a listen carefully and we'll find out a bit more. What I thought we might ask him to do tonight for something different is uh, to impersonate your favourite character off the comedy company. Number one. Uh, Colin, Greg. Uh, right. Yeah, right, well. Greg. Yeah, well, right. <clears throat> I'd keep working on it if I were you. Number two? Well, I'm your physical education teacher getting fat out there. Got to get into it. Come on, then. Ben and Ben. And Ben. <laughs> I like the tie around the forehead. I'd put it a bit lower and give it a bit of a pull, actually. <laughs> um, number three, who are you going to impersonate? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Con. And to my little girls, a ruler, a sula, a lula, and a tula, I say, beautiful. And to my wife, I'll be home in a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. What did you think of those, Kylie? Oh, so good. They're just exactly the same. Any in fact, they're fire, the other guys. The, which of the three did you like the best? Um... I reckon that probably, like the exercise guy, so good. Sounds good to you, eh? Okay, you got it. You got. <laughs> you have the opportunity, Kylie, to ask three questions. First question to number one, please. Um. Okay, number one. Um. What would you do if um your blind date turned out to be guess who's suck face Amanda? <laughs> oh, I think I'd just puke. <laughs> you, you'd just puke. Puke. Uh, you'd just do it. Yes. Mm. Number two. Oh, I'd smash her in the face and kick her in the guts and grab her by the foot and throw her around, throw her straight in the wall. And I'd go over, I'd go over and I'd say, oh, sorry, I thought you were a bloke trying to crack onto me. <laughs> Speaks well, doesn't he? Number three, what would you do if your day turned out to be Amanda? Well, after I'd finished chucking, I'd probably go over to her, tell her what a dog she was, <laughs> stick my chewing gum in her face and then drop her off at the pound. <laughs> My goodness, nothing's changed on this show. What do you oh, think? That is so good. I reckon, like, number two and three really had her guts, which is so excellent. Um, but I'll probably go for number three. Number three gets the first match with Kylie Mole. <laughs> Kylie, your next question, please, to number two. Um, okay. Um, well, you know my ex-boyfriend, Dino. Well, um, you know how he goes, he's a really good kisser because he practices on his arm. Well, he isn't because he can only kiss arms. But, um... I want you to like practice on your hand and pretend that your hand is me, okay? And make the noises of kissing to see if I like you or not. And I want to know why you reckon you're so good at kissing. 
That's to you, number two. <laughs> well, my nice Mate. pizza, because I'll dive down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> She said, kiss your arm, not eat it. Number three. Because <laughs> I've got a tongue like a rattlesnake. <laughs> Come up to my room for a hiss. Okay, number one. I'm a really good kisser kisser. I just am. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I tell you, you sounded like a chook laying an egg. What do you think, Kylie? Well, um... The one who goes, he's got a tongue like a rattlesnake. Yeah. I reckon he's really up himself because my tongue's much better, see? <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like to have a match with him, so I'd choose him. Number three gets another match. How about that? Two matches to number three. He's happy. Next question to number three, Kylie. Okay, um, well, you know how parents suck and everything. <laughs> well, when you become a parent and that, what would you do that's different from what your parents have done and that? Uh, and also, you don't have to answer this if you're an orphan. <laughs> well, I'd never make my own kids eat my grandmother's corned beef because any spack knows that chewing gum and corned beef don't mix. <laughs> and tripe, that's awful Yuck. too, isn't it? Number one, what would you do different to your parents? I'd be really cool like and uh, I'd never ever go out in public uh, with my kids. Oh. <laughs> Number two, what would you do different to your parents? Well, hopefully I'd have all daughters and I'd tell them to bring all their girlfriends over every weekend for pool parties. <laughs> He's a worry number two. What do you think, Kylie? Um, what did number one go? No, no, he just went. Uh, <laughs> well, then he is so excellent if that's what he did, so I'll go for number one. Okay, number one gets a match. Your, um, your, first, your, your first instinct was to lead with number two. You had one match with number one, two matches with number three. Here's ten seconds for you to make your choice. <laughs> three of these men want to have a date with you, you've got to pick one. Which one do you think? I just want them all. If I knock out of a guy of kissing them, I could choose. Um, well, seeing I've got two of number three, is that right? Yep. Well, um, I reckon maybe I should go with him. Okay, number three. <laughs> and he's pretty rap. Let me tell you about number one, Kylie. This bloke enjoys water skiing, squash and cycling. It's Paul Cox. <laughs> Number two, Kylie enjoys cricket, rugby union and squash. It's David Barnes. Come on down to the hard light, number three. You've got it. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Right, here we go. Oh boy, moment of truth. This guy's a tennis coach. He enjoys rugby league. He likes Mexican food. He likes the theatre. Kylie Mole, please meet Dennis Holland. Fantastic first date for you too, Max. Tell them all about it. I surely will. Yes, Carly and Dennis, you're off to Melbourne. We're on your arrival. You'll be swept off your feet by a luxurious Hallmark chef and limousine and taken to attend a special recording of the comedy company as Carly Mole's special guest. Enjoy the atmosphere and laughs before spending the night on the elegant Park Royal on St Kilda Road with its magnificent views and stylish decor. Park Royal offers the best in relaxation and government with the compliments of Hallmark limousines, Park Royal on St Kilda Road and Perfect Man. <laughs> you know, you know what happened? A gum got stuck to the braces on his teeth. They couldn't get apart. There. Listen, that's fantastic. Thank. I hope you're very happy together. Yeah. And, and will you go with me? Oh, I think so. But is Dino not jealous? He's, a, he's sort of about the same height and he's oh. a bit skinnier so you can punch him. Oh. <laughs> okay. I think you two are going to have a great time. Would you please thank Kylie Mole for coming on to our first show back. Thank you very much, Kylie. All the very best to you. Thank you Fantastic. Very You're a great sport and enjoy your time with the comedy We'll be back after this break. <laughs> <laughs> this last, but after that, the UST.